So, hi guys. This video took a lot longer to upload than I expected. In the meantime, I graduated, so this patch is now officially valid. After all these months, I've added and exchanged some items uh, of my EDC pouch. Uh, it has been on several trips, motorcycle trip and a road trip through uh, Europe. And I have actually uh, needed it during my motorcycle trip for uh, two fixes. So you can still see it's really, really packed. And uh, the stitching is actually holding up uh, pretty well. But I will just uh, yeah, try to keep this video short and give you an uh, update on, uh, yeah, on uh, the things that I've changed. So, first things first. Uh, where shall I start? So yes, I've um, actually bought the... Um, ratchet driver of Leatherman and therefore the uh, um, bit driver extender lost kind of its uh, function but the thing is that I was kind of missing a practical screwdriver so I've been to the drawing board and I 3D, 3D printed this holder so this is still the bit driver extender of Leatherman but now I can transform it into a practical screwdriver of course uh, the, the ratchet driver also fits in there yeah I can, can kind of make a long screwdriver if I want to but um, yes so that's the first thing we'll put that aside uh, yeah of course still have the um, a bit set of Leatherman and the practical thing is uh, sometimes I do lose stuff and uh, it can also happen to my precious pouch. So I've added a card with, did you find this? Please call. And I have my phone number written down over there. So I still actually have some faith in humanity. And it's better to have it in there than not having it in there and definitely losing this, uh, this pouch. Um, furthermore, I've added some uh, Teflon tape for water tightening or uh, air tightening stuff. Yeah, of course it's more for quick fixes uh, some electrical tape still uh, got the duct tape over here but uh, we'll just leave it in there because it's really tight uh, in this uh, in this small pouch but here at the back i added some uh, wire it's actually some fishing line did find some purposes for that in uh, some jobs that i had to do um, of course this is more for at home and not for at work added some uh, iron wire or metal wire and now maybe this might become a bit of an overkill but let's say you need to solder two wires together that's typically what happens uh, yeah, let's say on a trip or, uh, or when you're at a friend's place I've added some soldering uh, tin and then I do, I do have some heat shrinks uh, at the back so yeah you just strip two wires connect them together twist them and add the soldering tin and let that melt with a lighter um so yes i've added a cross key for tightening m2 two and a half and m3 nuts the smallest socket that i have doesn't allow that and some washers and some uh, nuts that i have over here I still have the uh, um, small precision bits that I've showed in the previous video and here at the back I've now contained everything in a bag so I have the heat shrinks uh, in several uh, sizes over here still have the um, zip ties of course I did add some rubber bands then we have the um, the, the, the wipes for the glasses but I did add some uh, alcohol wipes at the back uh, over here so you can uh, of course use that to disinfect uh, wounds or anything or degrease surfaces and still have my bandages and I've put the wire cutters of Leatherman over here and I've added some uh, some paper here at the back so that was uh, this side now, Nothing changed to the socket holder and bit holder over here. Um, yes, I did add a telescopic magnetic stick. And why is that? Well, during uh, some uh, uh, jobs or some, uh, some tasks, 
when uh, loosening up some screws or nuts and it's really annoying when uh, that screw or nut drops down below and you can't reach it with your hands to grab it so this stick does allow you to it's i think about uh, well half uh, 50 centimeters in length so that's really useful to have in there and of course i have the letterman search the crkt ceo and i did add a pencil here at the back of course for writing purposes Still have the uh, Olight S2 baton, still my best buddy, and the cheap ratchet. But I am considering to switch this out because it kind of is crappy. Uh, I've noticed several times when using it um, that when you, yeah, it's 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 this switch. It's really crappy. Sometimes it just completely loses the uh, the yeah the ratchet and. Uh, yeah, I think I will just uh, throw this out. And at the back I have still the um, saw blade holder, two nails, a toothpick, and I did add the uh, Victorinox uh, tweezers, and a sewing needle over here. Let's put that back in. No. Come on. Yes. And here, furthermore, at the back, I've added some um, uh, latex uh, gloves, so let's say uh, when there's uh, some greasy stuff uh, going on and you need to fix it and you want to, keep, want to keep your hands clean, yeah, it's kind of useful to have it in there. And yeah, basically that's, that's it for my update on my EDC pouch. And if you have any tips or questions or recommendations, anything, please let me know down below in the comments. Um, in the meantime, actually, I did order two or maybe three items uh, to add to this uh, pouch, actually. Um, yeah, and therefore, maybe I think I will uh, upload an, uh, an update video uh, in some time. But I still hope that this serves as an, um, an inspiration to you all. So have a nice day, uh, guys.